Hey, what's happening? Glenn Gosh, realtor and broker here with another video about life in Tri-Cities. And in this video, I am talking about camping in the area. Okay, so real quick, just want to mention again, my name is Glenn Gosh. If you are looking to move within the Tri-Cities area or looking to move to the area from outside of the area, I am a local realtor here. My information will be on the screen here or in the description of the video. Love to get in touch with you if uh, and you know help you and be your realtor. Or if you just have any general questions about Tri Cities, the real estate market, or any general questions, I'll do my best to help out with that as well. And then you can like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell wherever you might find that on your device. That way you're updated on future videos that I do for neighborhood spotlights throughout the Tri Cities market updates or just things about Tri-Cities in general. And then as always, before we jump into talking about camping, I want to thank our sponsors of this video. Once again, our friends over at Billy's Pizza Wings and Insurance. For all your pizza wings and insurance needs, be sure to go to Billy's for home, auto, life insurance, plus hot out of the oven pizza with fresh ingredients be sure to go to Billy's Pizza Wings and Insurance. All right, so if you like camping and you're moving to the Tri-Cities area, there are opportunities for camping right here in the area or a couple hours to the east and a couple hours to the west, depending on what your idea of camping is. And for this video here, I'm going to go ahead and hop over to my computer where I can do some screen sharing and highlight some of the camping areas in and around the area. All right, so once again, talking about the camping that's in and around the Tri-Cities area. Now again, it kind of depends on what your definition of camping is. There are opportunities uh, right in and around Tri-Cities for camping, um, kind of more of like an urban camping setting, I guess I would call it. Uh, if you're looking for more of a forested, like in the mountains camping, I mean, that's kind of like the camping I remember from when I was a kid going up with my brother and my dad in the Sierra Nevadas of California, just higher elevations away from the city, um, you know, I don't know, barely any running water or toilets or anything, just kind of roughing it style camping. There's uh, opportunities for that, you know, a couple hours to the east and a couple hours to the west. So I want to kind of hit all of those spots. Uh, first, we'll talk about the uh, camping opportunities that are right around Tri-Cities. So again, you know, Tri-Cities, Kennewick, Pasco, Richland, over here. If you hop over to the Burbank area uh, near the river here, there's Hood Park, which does have campsites. Um, you kind of see this loop that comes in here. Uh, there's RV camping, and you can do tent camping there. We actually did this one year, uh, took the kids there, uh, you know, Kids were a lot younger, um, so it was good because we had a, a, a baby and just, I guess, nice to kind of get a, a, get a camping experience without having to be too far away from the house type thing. But uh, let me see if I can get in here and give you an idea of what it looks like. So just kind of like a park setting, you know. Um, again, not like you're in the mountains or anything like that, just... Uh, just an opportunity to camp uh, right right close by, I guess, get the experience. Uh, there's a little amphitheater right here where they do shows for kids and stuff like that. Uh, you have the river right nearby. Go stick your feet in the river. So not a bad little spot, but again, not, not quite like going up into the woods type thing. Uh, if you go just north of West Richland, there's another spot kind of like that. Uh, the Horn Rapids Park. Um, I haven't actually been here myself. From what I understand, it's a 
kind of like a, uh, oh, again, like a park set setting. Let me find my uh, bearings here. We got Richland, North Richland, West Richland. There we go, kind of out this way. There it is. So again, just kind of like a park setting close to the river. There's some uh, RV and I believe you can do uh, tent camping over here. I, I don't even think you can reserve this. Uh, don't quote me on that, but just kind of a park area near the river. So there's that opportunity there. And then if you, if you go along the um, Columbia River south of the Tri-Cities, I believe there's a few camping spots that you can hit along there as well um but again kind of like that urban urban camping setting now to get into let me just scroll out a little bit again here to get more into more forested camping like i said if you if you go a, a couple hours to the east i guess it'd be like southeast getting into oregon you have camping spots here where you get up into higher elevation uh, more of your forested camping, mountain lakes. Uh, I'll, I'll touch on Wallawa Lake here in a second. If you go a, a couple hours to the west, you get in, into the Cascade Mountains. And again, uh, you know, a couple of hours outside of tri City. So if we go right here, Kennewick area, Yakima, about an hour outside of tri City's, maybe a little bit over an hour, depending on where you're at in the tri City's. Um, and then you hit this highway here, Highway 12, you can get up into the uh, it's National Forest here, uh, Wenatchee National Forest, and you have Rainier further to the west. But just, again, maybe two hours, maybe a little over two hours outside of Tri-Cities. I think this is probably the closest like forested area that I know of uh, to the west where you can get kind of a, like I said, forest uh, setting for camping. Let me try to get in here. Yeah, there we go. So just kind of give you an idea of the setting and the terrain. Uh, you got that Rim Rock Lake. That's kind of a crappy view of the lake. Let's see if we can get something a little bit better. There we go. And you know, you can do boating, swimming out here. There's a island in the middle of the lake that depending on the water level, sometimes you can actually hike out to that island. Let's see, oops, exit street view. So yeah, uh, pretty big lake and then there's, uh, you know, good hiking opportunities all around the lake and all around these mountains. And if you wanna go further than Rim Rock, I mean, there's camping all over the place here. Like I said, if you go further to the west here, then you got Rainier and just e even even coming on the south side of here, just the, the views are amazing. The hiking opportunities are amazing. Uh, I think to get to like some of these camping spots over here, you're looking at probably three, three and a half hours out of Tri-Cities. Uh, if we go back over to Rim Rock, they're a little bit north of here, there's Bumping Lake which I've not been to yet as of making this video, but we are going to be uh, going to be camping there this year now. So again, you know, the cascade stretch for, you know, the whole distance of the state basically. So there's, there's all kinds of different camping opportunities throughout there. But as far as like closest to tri cities, this is probably the area you want to hit if you're looking for something close by. Now going over to the East, we get into, I suppose there's some spot, spots in Washington you could you could um, hit up, but really on the other side of the state is where, or other side of the state line, I should say, is where you can get into more, a uh, little bit higher elevation uh, camping areas. Uh, one spot we've been is over here, about three, three and a half hours from Tri-Cities. This is Wallowa Lake, kind of a cool spot here. Kind of, kind of warmer weather for being in a in a mountain setting. Um, try to again get you down in here to see what the terrain looks like. Let's get you on the highway. So again, you know, 
kind of a, a forested area. So somewhere over here, there's like a little Bavarian village with uh, miniature golf and stuff. So, I mean, th this area can kind of be like a, a I, I guess, like a, a glamping area, if you want to call it that. But it is, to, to me, it's, it, it, it's a way enough for the city where it does feel like you're camping. Um, you just kind of have a little bit more amenities nearby. Let's see if we can get you a view of the lake here. There we go. Yeah, so so less less shade and trees around the lake. Now the lake itself can actually be pretty dang cold. Um, I just want to shoot you over to because when you go outside of the lake, you start climbing in in, in elevation, and you get into some kind of cool camping spots. Let me see if I can find that area we went when we were there. So kind of getting my bearings here go outside and up this highway to like where it ends and that's where all these cars are parked here you, you know you come up here and you hit these different trailheads that go up into the mountain either way just throw the our little guy down here so you get an idea I mean you can tell down by the lake there's hardly any trees you come up here and you're into that just beautiful country so zooming back out again again this is probably three three and a half hours to the east of Tri-Cities let me get this back to the north here and this is in the Oregon side now one other area I want to highlight let's see La Grande Oregon and oh I skipped the Gorge Amphitheater um, another area more like urban camping but the Gorge Amphitheater is pretty cool if you google this and check out the summer I guess just their summer schedule there's different um, festivals and concerts that come through here sometimes they're like two three day events where you can come camp out they have like the watershed like country music and there's been like some EDM shows that run through here so that's worth checking out if you're into that sort of thing but I wanted to highlight um, going up over towards Spokane. This is getting you know over two hours outside of Tri Cities. Getting Spokane itself probably two two and a half hours. Again, we're depending on where you're from. But you can just tell all these different forested areas. If you go north of Spokane, you have camping opportunities. Hop onto the other side of the state line into Idaho, and you have the Coeur d'Alene area, Lake Coeur d'Alene. A little bit north of that, you have the Sandpoint area with uh, Lake Ponderé, which is spelled super funny, so you'll want to look that up. i <laughs> probably just searching on a map. <clears throat> but uh, again, just to give you an idea of where we're at here, Kennewick being right here, Tri-Cities. Again, a couple hours to the, to the west is where you have the Cascade Mountains for camping opportunities. You get just a couple hours to the east, you can get into some more mountainous areas over here, and then getting you know probably closer to three hours or so to the north, then you end up with more forested camping areas there. Now, if, if you're looking for resource, uh, resources to look up different areas to camp, I'd suggest looking up you know the U.S. National Parks. So there's a few over in again the Cascade area, and then over into Eastern Oregon. Then also look at Washington State Parks and Oregon State Parks and then Benton County Parks as well. I'll go ahead and put some links to that in the description of the video here so you can do a little bit of more research on your own to pick that you know perfect campsite if you are looking to camp in the area. But again, just wanted to give you an idea of what the camping, camping opportunities are in and around the Tri-City area. And again, once again, just a little, little bit more of a plug for myself. My name is Glenn Gosh. If you are looking to move to the Tri-Cities area, um, go ahead and give me a shout. I have my information in the description of this video. Appreciate you watching and look forward to seeing you on the next video. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified of the next video I put out. Putting out videos of the real estate market, homes, neighborhoods, and just things to do and life in Tri-Cities. Okay, thanks again for watching.